this is a Lexus RX 300 and today we're going to be changing the transfer case oil. This is a 2002 Lexus RX 300 with the 1MZFE engine and it's an all-wheel drive system so it has a transfer case at the front and a differential at the rear. So today we're going to be changing the transfer case fluid. There are two bolts in the uh, transfer case. One is for filling and the other one is for draining. I hope I can only use one bolt and use the fill hole to also suck out the oil and then uh, using a syringe push in the new oil. So right now I have my breaker bar on the top fill uh, bolt and uh, I'll, I'm trying to break it loose. I think I broke it loose just barely. There's not much space here. I'm going to show you how it looks like. I can remove it, remove the socket. There, there you go. There's the bolt you need. And then under it, there you go. There you go. So that's the top one is the bolt for filling and the bottom one is for draining. But the bottom one is very hard to access and uh, you need the proper tool for it. So I'm just going to use the top one and use it to drain and to fill using a huge syringe and I'll show it to you in a minute. Okay, I now removed it. It's a 24 millimeter bolt and it's now just dripping to the ground and I have some toilet paper there to catch it. But I'm gonna use this huge syringe to suck out all the fluid. So here are some tips for this oil change. If you're gonna be changing this in winter or when it's cold outside do it right after you drive the car it's good also to drive it on the highway then park it and do the change right away then the oil will be warmer and it will flow out better the uh, new oil if it's cold outside put it in your house then it will warm up and it will flow better when you try to push it in with a syringe and even better put it in the hot water and then it will flow much better because it is very very hard to push this through a syringe when it's very cold outside. It gets like a syrup. It gets very dense, so you will have a hard time. So there you go, I warned you, if it's winter and everything's cold, you will not enjoy this procedure. So better do it in summer or warm everything up before you do it, if it's winter. Okay, even though it's pretty cold, I was able to remove about 200 milliliters. Yeah, if you can see it, this is 250 cc, so it does look pretty black, so yeah, it's dark, so it's not very good. I'll have to put a new one definitely, so it's, it was time to do this procedure, and I'm just trying to squeeze it all out, and I'll try to remove more. The capacity is, I believe, 900 or 750? 750 milliliters so if I do two of these I'd be happy I, I can't remove all of it of course because I'm sucking it out okay another portion again about 200 milliliters yay we're approaching half a liter and I'll try one more time and let's see if I can get one more syringe out all right the third time and I was able to suck out a bit less than 200, so it makes it close to 600 milliliters, so that's good. I was trying to get more, but I was just pulling air. So that's it. I'm gonna load the syringe with the clean uh, transmission fluid and push it in. And that will be it. I'll need probably two full syringes. So this is what I got for the new oil. And it's just called the Synthetic Gear Oil from Monomaster 75W9. All right, the syringe is loaded. I've just filled it from the back and closed the piston behind. And you see it's completely transparent. That's how it should be and not like this. And this is how it looks like from here. I just put the hose in, here's my syringe, and just press it all in until it starts flowing from the hole. When it starts flowing from the hole, you are done. That's it. 
as easy as that. By the way, here's the bolt and a gasket, like in a washer. I don't have a new one, so I'll just reuse the old one. All right, that is it. I tighten it back with this short kind of a breaker bar.